This episode is for my son. I love you. Uh, this is fucking bullshit podcast, whatever, but this is for you, son. Uh, because you've been waiting eight years for this. The story of the shredder. Okay, you're going to start with the shredder? Yeah, real All quick, right. the preface. Um, I was with my buddies talking about this story when my son was eight. And he said, Daddy, what's the shredder? Like, no, no, nothing, son. Daddy, who's the shredder? I said, no, maybe I'll tell you when you're 16. Maybe. So he's turning 16 in a couple weeks. So mm-hmm. well, this is all figured out and whatever. Yeah. Here you go, son. Uh, yeah. Son. So, so, oh, so I'm going to push out a shit yeah, first yeah. before yeah. I so, fucking... So, so the shredder story is essentially, um, I'm in high school. Um, my house was the party house, having a bunch of people over, getting drunk, smoking weed. Right. And there's this really good-looking girl, Blank, Blank is her name. Is this something you should be talking to about your son? Oh, for sure. He's been waiting eight or nine years to hear this story, so let me do it correctly. Does he know he's been waiting eight or nine years for here to hear the story? Okay. If he doesn't remember, <laughs> I won't send this podcast to him. If he does say, Dad, I'm 16 right. now. Right. What's the shredder? Well, then I have to send this. Her and I go upstairs to my bedroom, start making up, fucking doing her thing. Oral sex, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, I'd go down on her or whatever. It's when you talk dirty with your mouth, right? Yes. Okay. There, 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 there are no bodily fluids. Extreme. No, no, I, yeah. exactly. Yes. If any kids under 18 are listening to this. The, it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> right. uh, it's, it's like I said at the very, very beginning. It's like Demolition Man. It's just all through you know, mm. your, your phone now. The three seashells. That's how you have sex through your phone and probably your right hand. Unless you're, unless you're 10% of the population. But Now, she had braces. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I had gotten blowjobs from girls with braces before, and there was no issue. Like, it's kind of like a... Did your foreskin get all gummy? The, uh, the ste- uh, listen, the stereotype for chicks with braces is that they're, like, rough and they chew the cock up, mm-hmm. which I never fucking understood because they don't rub the front of their teeth, which is where braces are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, look in a mirror and smile. Braces are on the front. Who the fuck... Like, yeah. they don't, it's not a toothbrush, you're caught. You know what I'm saying? They put, Unless they're, like, sucking it from the know, side or whatever, like, right? Yeah, like, they open, like, facing you, and then put it down their throat, hopefully. Mm. <laughs> Depending how good they are. <laughs> but this particular... I guess chair, that's one way to circumcise somebody. I don't know, that's the juice. <laughs> With braces? Ooh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, no racism on this fucking hey, podcast, hey, man. When it comes to the Jews... You're the one that said about circumcision, and I just said yeah. ask the Jews because they're the best at it because they've been yeah. doing it for thousands of years. Well, I mean, that's a legit, factual... That's what I'm saying. Right? I wasn't being right? racist. I got a color TV, man. I'm not racist at all. What's the best thing to call them? Jewish people or just Jews? Jews. Jews. So they're, they're okay with you calling them Jews like a black person is not okay with you calling them a nigger. Well, because... Oh Okay. <laughs> it's not even the okay. same thing. So this chick. Do we have Jews in Canada? Getting... Yes, we have Jews in Canada. We have apple juice. We got orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurt the juice. So back to this chick. So she's she's blowing me. And here's the thing. So again, I'm like 16, whatever it is in high school. I'm going to break it down to try to simplify it. That in, the, in a minute, like 60 seconds, 51 seconds were like really good. But then there was nine seconds, which were, by the way, like two separate stints, like super quick. I, 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 I think she might have done it on purpose, but like fucking little, like a little bite, like oh fuck, like it hurt, right? But then she's blowing, like oh yeah, and I'm a dumb fucking kid. I don't know what I'm doing. Like if that happened to me now, if she likes dick blood. No, no. If if Shredder tried to do the same thing on me now, I, there'd be some issues. Because <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> you know well, let's I mean? hope she, she probably doesn't have braces now. No, well. They only last, what, I five years? I don't even think it was about the braces, though. No. Anyways, she... She had, like, she's a fucking going, vampire she, tooth that's yeah, chewing like, on like your Yeah, like, she's going good for 30 seconds, and then all of a sudden, it was, like, a sharp pain. So it's almost like she was, like, fucking putting her down her throat, but she would, like, like bite and, like, rub her teeth. It was, like, a five-second... Bam! It hurt. But then it was good for 40 seconds. So, mm-hmm. again, me being the dumbass, like, 16-year-old, yeah. oh, this is awesome, man. Oh, suck that dick. Yeah, I'm the man. <laughs> Ow! Oh, yeah, it's so good. Oh, so fucking... Oh, that's right. Ow! Right? Nothing happened. Didn't finish, whatever. You know, yeah. we had our fun. We went back up to the party, yada, yada. Next morning was the beauty. 
my three of my buddies passed out of my house because we're yeah. again fucking high and drunk, whatever. And I, I woke up and it was like throbbing. My fucking penis was just pum 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 pum. Like when you fucking tear a shoulder. Yeah. Right. Just oh, you couldn't not notice it. Go outside, go to have a smoke. My friends come with me, and I said, oh my god. So I look in my pants. I said, guys, you gotta check this out. So I showed my dick to my three buddies, mm-hmm. but it was literally on the top of my dick. So you know you're too... How'd they feel about that? Well, they were... Okay. <laughs> they were actually okay with it because they were... <laughs> yeah, no, no, because they were excited to see the damage done. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> because after that, they got to laugh, yeah. yeah. You know, like, your two front teeth. Yeah. Right? Your two uh-huh. front... Your chicklets. Mm-hmm. There's actually ridges. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all have them, yeah. right? Yeah. On the top of my cock, you could see the fucking ridge marks. Oh, so she was biting you, buddy. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, that five seconds of horror Jesus. was actually like a... <clears throat> it was like a... <clears throat> like fucking Ace Ventura shit. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, man, it's brutal. One of the worst stories of my life. Jesus. One of the best, because I learned. Somebody tried to do it, like, a month later. Different girl yeah. picked away. I was built. I was hot. I don't have yeah, any... No, it didn't work out. I said, shoo, fucking, no, no, no. Uh. Okay, I, under, I understand, like, there's a lot of women out there that don't know how to give a blowjob. I said it before we push record, yeah. that I personally, and I'm not bragging, but I'm being dead honest, I have taught, I've yeah. literally taught many a girl how to give a blowjob. Now, here's the thing. Current I, one? Current, past, <laughs> of course. Now, here's the thing. I taught them how to give a blowjob the way I want it. Right. Right? Like, you might want a different way, and you might want a different way. For me, it's pretty straightforward. Put the whole fucking thing down your throat. If uh-huh. You, if you gag and spit on it, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm a fan of feeling the back of somebody's throat. Yeah, just destroy them. Like, yeah. big dick. You can actually push her right to the back. His name is Gary Big Dick. <laughs> right down her throat into off. her fucking intestines. Yeah, you see it the back of their neck. Yeah. Me and my ex, we made a sex tape. We I'm made uh, a couple of them. Um, but they were, they were just on a, you know, those old cameras with the small videotapes, a VHS, uh, VHS. but okay. it wasn't a big VHS, no, no, it was a small it. one. Yeah. Right? I had one. So she's like, let's record having that's sex. Awesome. So I did it. Right. And it's it was hot, like night. Hot. Yeah. It was yeah, night vision yeah. fucking sex. Right. Night I was like, vision. that's fucking, fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking there. about amphibious warfare. No, okay. Night goggles in his. Um, in the middle of the no, yeah, well, you asked me to. Maybe remember? if you were paying fucking right? attention. Yeah. No, don't oh my god me or us. Okay, so we made the sex tape. Whoa. It was in my... Who made a sex tape? Me and... Ah! Okay. Right? Oh, no, we have to go back five minutes because he was too important. No, well, fuck Shut that. Shut up. Within the same night, we made like two or three. Mm-hmm. Same night? Yeah, well, I mean, we were fucking That's why they horning it up. So, months down the road, I forgot the the sex tape was in uh, the camcorder, right? And I took the camcorder home with me, and me and my ex were not living together. So, I had it in my closet, and we, like, we were seeing each other, but we got in a fight. She's like, I want all my shit back. I want the videotapes back. She's like, why do you want the videotapes back? Or, uh, video camera back? Uh, like, I still intend on making, like, short videos. I didn't clue in about the sex tape. I completely forgot about it. And she didn't say anything. So, she's just like... Give me back all my shit. Like, that's all I had of hers was a uh, video camera. Oh, it's such good leverage, though. Yeah. And she's like, give me back all my shit, or else I'll call the cops oh. on you. Call the fucking cops. They're not going to give a shit about a fucking video. It might not even or a camcorder. Hold on, say that again. Camcorder? Camera quarter. That's what it's called. Camcorder. Cam, camcorder. Sorry. Shut up. Um, last time. Um, so. This is Gary trying to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> She threatens me with the police. Go, Did you go get just, a sex tape over? It? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize that it was about the it sex was still tape. In the fucking yeah, it was. I didn't. The I, I, I thought she had taken it, thrown it away. A couple hours later, I'm at home. I lived in a bat. That's when I lived in that bachelor suite Dude. on right across the street from the station pub. First thing you did was watch it and fucking beat off, guaranteed. I can't remember. First. Probably I've watched it a few times, but I don't remember beating off. I just I forgot he was in there, well, and the cops show up. I heard a bang, bang, As bang. As you off to the sex tape. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I opened the door, and there's two cops there. Two cops were... Uh, he was outside. Two cops were... Um, we're here for his belongings. Hmm. Right? And I was like, okay. Grabbed them out. I grabbed them out of the closet. They were behind a fake rifle. Oh, 
I had a fake rifle. It was like a, I mean, like a BB gun, like but it looked like a real, yeah, 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 but yeah. it looked really real. An air so I, yeah, so I took yeah. it out, and immediately they had they, their hands on their fucking went, yeah, guns. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, shit, yeah, no, well, dude, not, dude, dude, it, dude. It, yeah, yeah. nothing like that. But like they had, I saw that they had their hands on their guns, and I just put it aside. And they must have realized right away that it was a cap gun because they didn't ask me about and it. You right? weren't, you're, yeah. yeah. So I took them and gave them back the the camcorders, right? And I saw, I looked outside the window, and then of course there there was Steve waiting by it, right? Did you get the tape? She no, I didn't know there was a tape in it. I just gave her the camcorder. I gave the cops the camcorders. They went outside and gave it to her, and then left. Unreal. And then like three hours later, she texts me, "Did you did you not realize that the sex tape was in that camcorder?" And I was like, "No, I can." She's like, "Okay, well, I just I tossed it in Mill Lake." So this the, is, the film is, a, is in Mill Lake still. This is like actually a horror story. This is like a bad film. This is mm -hmm. like, I know what you did last spring. Yeah. So well, not, I mean, not, only, not only did you have a sex tape, yeah. which is you, which is like, again, I like. You didn't see me. You saw her. I never showed my face. You saw her. Of course. You saw me like plungering her. And that was it. But and you saw her face. You saw, I brought it up, and so I was you, like, so "Doggy style." You had it, or whatever. Which means you didn't actually beat off to it. Mm -mm. I beat off. I beat off to it when I was with her in the same place. No, but knowing that it was a camper. Yeah. Best part. Yeah, I for completely forgot about it. Oh man, that's a horror story. Like seriously, mm -hmm. you should have just you sh okay. You know, you know what should be at the bottom of the leg is you, not the tape. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, uh, this is back in the day when we knew. We're not okay. I should not have said those names, yeah. but you yeah, said no names. I know, I know. I said no names. Okay, so. But then he said the first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. Both of them, actually. You just so, both so both okay, okay, like okay. I was hanging out with right, Obama. Right, right. Oh right. fuck! This was back in the day when you and I went to uh, Blue Ridge either every other weekend or so. Well, this was before I think my son was born. Before we'd I, we'd yeah. meet what like ten or fifteen people there that we knew from work. Some of them were in the film industry. Big Dick Gary. Yeah. There was two occasions where we went there and shit happened. Like our, our best friend was there for a bit. So the first incident was that you decided to go on the dance floor and slap some chick's ass. You remember that? No, I don't. I was hammered. Okay. <laughs> but this shit. is what, okay, this, from my perspective, this is what you told me. We were at Blue Ridge Bar and Grill. We were there. Yeah. You're on the dance floor, and you came back to me, and you're just like, dude, I think I fucked up. Yeah. I slapped some chick in the ass, and I think I'm going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so we were in the parking lot a few hours later. This is probably, yeah, this is after it was closing. In the parking lot, waiting for a cab. And we hear this guy going like, this is what I heard. There he is, there he is. He's over there. Some East Indian guy was pointing at you. Yeah. By and the way, everyone, as a listener, this guy's... Six it's foot fine. three, big yeah. fucking He's guy. He's six can't, foot four, probably can't, can't 220 him. pounds. You can't miss him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Hindus are saying... Big beard. Okay, tiga, tiga. glasses. I don't think you wore glasses then either. No, I don't think I did. No, you didn't. No. You used to and so we're, we're waiting by the... We were waiting for a cab, right? And you hear this guy like, oh, there, there he is, there he is. And we had about 10 or 15 people with us already. And everybody's waiting for a cab going home. Everybody knew about the situation, which within not even a minute, there was, I can't even remember between what on happened the then line. and now, but there was a huge brawl. There was about 30 people the beaten yeah. in the parking lot, beating the shit out of each other. I was in the middle of it. I swung a few times, I remember. I didn't hit anybody, but I swung a few times. Somebody was after me. Are you being a fucking cunt right now? I didn't say a word. I know you didn't. What the fuck was that? Stop doing that. I don't know what that means. That means like oh, wide open twat or what? Massive pussy. Oh, massive pussy. Oh, okay. I was in the middle of the whole thing. I remember stepping out of the fight. And everybody was like swinging and punching and, and kicking. And I see Clayton over at the far end by the building. He's on the ground. As far as I remember, five East Indians kicking him, punching him. And he's just lying there and taking it. I don't remember anything other than that. After I, I call the cops, I call 911. I was like, um, I don't know if this is an emergency, <laughs> but uh, we're at Blue Ridge Bar Grill and there's a fight going on. There's about 30 people beating the shit out of each other. And they're like, okay, we'll have a squad car there immediately. 
So 10 minutes later, this shit is still happening. And then uh, you hear a guy yell out, cops are coming, cops are coming. And then everybody scatters to get in the car and leaves. And by the end of it, I remember Clayton walking over towards me. He's just fucking limping. And his face is just fucking like a balloon of well, fucking yeah, sores. Like of red everywhere. and bruised. Yeah. And yeah. He just stands there with me. And I was like, hey, I called the cab. And he's like, all right, okay. And he's like, oh, by the way, I called the cops. He's like, okay. <laughs> that's, that's something. <laughs> and then, then we, we, we go our separate ways. And then Monday morning comes, and I'm the one who gets harassed for calling 911. Of course. Of course. And I was just trying to help a brother out. I didn't want to get in the middle of it and get my fucking ass beat, you know, and that fucking, like, so in got, a ditch somewhere. So you got out of the fight and then called the cops. I was fucking plastered. Just like everybody else there, I was fucking plastered. You can fucking widen my pussy all you want. What was your perspective of the story? Wow. You must have remembered something I from so it. Wrong. Yeah. I remember getting walked down by security, and they're like, dude, as soon as you go inside, there's going to be a bunch of guys out there who are going to try and beat you. I'm like, okay. I'm like, can you let me at the side door? He's like, no. You were taking you. <laughs> yeah, like, deal with it. Yeah. 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 And as soon as I came up, like, literally, I walk through the door. And, <laughs> within three, four, five oh, feet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. bam. Just beat the fucking piss out of me. Yeah. So I have, like, a literal question. What actually was your pers- perspective? Oh, I was hammered. I can't I was remember. Gonna, I was going to... I literally can't remember. I don't remember smacking the chick's ass at yeah. all. I no? You, you okay, all. you told me that when you did that, you were just like, oh, you know, when I do that back home, it's not a big deal. See, I don't That's, even you remember, remember, I remember you telling me that. Don't even remember that conversation. I was like, dude. I remember, and I have a slight recollection, is because we were upstairs, because Blue Ridge was upstairs, mm-hmm. I remember the bouncers walking me downstairs. Yeah. And I remember talking to him, and I remember like, fuck. Well, at least like, they gave you a warning. They're like, as soon as I go, they're like, dude, you're getting your ass You're fucked. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, can I go over to the side door? He's like, no. We're taking you up front. I'm like, all right. The only thing I guess they could do is that they could protect you from the top floor to the bottom floor out the they door. Once you're and the then door, they, once you're out the door, they can't do it. shit. You're free. Yeah, free yeah. for all. Yeah. So your perspective was literally lying on your back and your ass kicked. Yeah. And he doesn't even remember it, which is probably a fine That's thing. That's fucking amazing. I'm actually, I, I'm actually going to give you kudos, though. You I said, remember we you were... Said you don't remember smacking her ass, which means you don't remember being out of line. Yeah. But you still did say, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so you had some remorse. Yeah. <laughs> there was another... That It was the same bar and grill. There was about 15 or 20 of us. It was somebody's birthday. We all made an agreement that by the end of the night, if we didn't get five numbers from chicks, yeah. Yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. had to pay the percentage yeah. of the bill. Or the, or the loser had to pay yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because there's 15 or 20 of us, it was a fucking thousand dollar bill or more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got, it was a thousand. You've got 10 guys, you yeah. three drinks each. Or even that. It, we were there from right. like 9 or 10 o'clock till like closing. So, it was an expensive. Everybody was eating there. Everybody was buying booze and shots, right? Yeah. Near the end of the night, uh, our buddy was there. He was a very shy individual. Like, he was very closed off. Talking about... Oh, yeah. He was there. Even though now, like, uh, before he got his girlfriend, he was pretty well off. He can get a lot of, like, crazy chicks, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but before guys, that... Yeah, they just have the fucking... Yeah. He was completely yeah. fucked in his head. Yeah. He was worse than a woman. He was... Like, he... Women are, he was worse. Like, why, oh that's why God. he won. He'd be like, oh my God, oh my God. That's oh why he God. picked up chicks. Yeah. My, my, yeah. my girl's talking to three guys. Oh my God, her yeah. is over there. He'd be like, who the fuck, why are you talking? He was worse no. than a woman was, but he could actually get good looking women. Yeah. Like, why he did though? He got a fucking, he got a fucking His stripper once. Probably, Remember, yeah, he got a stripper. He had a stripper actually pursue him. Buy him gifts, yeah. trying to convince him that she was worth it. Yeah. And the date for Probably because he yeah. watched The Bachelor or something. No, we turned it down. <laughs> we took him out because he hasn't been out in a while. We had this deal about like getting five numbers. I had gotten three and I cheated. I already knew two women there that I had their numbers. So I just asked them, can I use your number to do this? Right? And it was his but, own number, it was the third one. No, no, no. <laughs> I was able to get three numbers and one of the third numbers, I'm going to talk about I this. Cheated. Fucking I already, cunt. I already knew two of the bitches there. That's, a, that's definitely a Gary well, move, for sure. It is a Gary uh, move. I'm getting my ass kicked, and you're like, fuck you. This was not got, the same night. Was, got, Let me finish the story first. It's very quick. Okay. Me and we're trying to convince our buddy to go over there and talk to this one chick. 
And she was a like a black hair. She was a bit chubby in the butt, but very sexy. Big tits. Like she just like her whole getup was just nice. A little bit bigger, but still sexy. Yes, yeah, very sexy. She wasn't fat, but she Either was sexy. Or. She had a big butt. And she was sitting by herself. I can't remember her name. She noticed me pointing at her. Right? I was like, dude, go talk to this chick. She's by herself. Right? right? Like you should have no problems with this. And he's like, no, no, maybe next time. And so I was like, dude, I'm going to show you. So I walk over there and I put my hands on the table. And I was like, how are you doing? She's like, I'm all right. So like, what yeah. do you, why are you here by yourself? I was saying. Yeah. And she's like, well, my, my girlfriend just left. I'm here by myself. I'm going to leave soon. And I was just like, do you mind if I sit down and talk to you? She's like, yeah, go ahead. So I sit down. I can't remember what I was talking about, but I talked to her for about 10 minutes. I asked her if she wanted to dance. We went up and danced. And I'm showing uh, my buddy, like I'm like looking at him, like, see what I'm doing here? I'm talking about shit. I'm not talking about anything. Me, yeah, like, no, no, yeah, like I'm talking about what she does. You know, does she live around no here? No substance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I asked her, do you want to go out and dance? And she's like, yeah. So we danced for five, ten minutes. We sat back down. I was like, you know, would you mind if I got your number? She's like, absolutely. She writes down the number. Beauty. I give it to my buddy. Well, that's a lock. Right? Yeah, that's And a lock. I was like, dude, that's how easy it is. I was literally talking to her for about 10, 15 minutes. I came back. Done. And done. Dude, that's all you do. Right? And he still felt... He wasn't confident. In it. I've been in his shoes. Yeah, you know. I've been in his shoes. This is one of my oh fuck. I still remember this one. It burns my ass. This story. Downtown, or sorry, down by the beach in St. Catharines. It's called Port Dalhousie. There used to be a bar called My Cottage, and this bar, uh, yeah. it had four tiers, like yeah. like decks. Dancing, this and that. Whatever. Huge bar. Huge bar. Yeah. And it was. Even people from Toronto came to this bar. Type of an idea. I went out with my buddies, and it was four of us. So, me and three others. Mm -hmm. And we go out, and obviously when you go out when you're like 25, 26, yeah, we're going out for drinks. Why do you go to a bar like that? Like a club, bar, whatever? One reason, one reason only. If we wanted to go really just get drunk and hang out, we'd go to a different pub. we go to a pub, mm -hmm. not the club. Right? But this is a club kind of on the beach. Like, they had volleyball at the very bottom of the hill because it, it was built on a hill. Right? Yeah. So we go there again, the whole point, kind of, to a point, to pick up chicks. We get there, we settle in, get a couple of drinks, start feeling a little bit loose, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're eyeing groups and this and that. That's how it goes. You try yeah. to feel it out. So, again, there's four of us, and at one point we're on, like, the third tier or whatever, and there's a group of six girls. They go to Brock University, like I could tell, kind of, like, university yeah. girls. You know, a couple years younger than us, but like right in our range. They were by themselves. We were, again, there are six girls, we're four guys. So I said, fuck it, dudes, let's go. I walk up to this group of six girls and I said, excuse me. And I walk right in the middle of the circle. And you know how yeah. it goes, like the social thing. It's, a, it's literally like a fucking circle. So there's six of them and there is, I walk right in the middle and I say, hi there, ladies, how's it going tonight? All of them are kind of blushing, and all and one, you know, the, the brave one says, "Oh, we're doing good. How are you?" I said, oh, "I'm doing very, I'm doing very good, thank you. Um, I'm here with my friends, and uh, you know, we're not here to do anything stupid, just to have some good conversation, have some good times. And I know for a fact that when women hang out with men, it's more fun, and when men hang out with women, it's more fun. So there's you guys. I'm Shane, by the way, and here's my friends. Would you guys like to hang out? Mm -hmm. All six of them." not in unison but more or less said yeah let, let's conjoin the groups the fucking circle of girls it was like a fucking easter egg you crack the egg and it splits in half and it opens so the so there's three on each side they opened mm -hmm. and looked at my friends as in like again yeah to try to essentially like open up into conversation like okay this guy's awesome he just put himself in the line now let's hang out all three of my friends, literally, <laughs> just <laughs> fucking fumbleitis. <laughs> no, like I, I don't even think combined there was one single word. Yeah. Thirty seconds of silence, and I'm sitting there, and I, I'm the one that just again, right? Like I put myself Is that in the your line. Question? Yeah. 
right? I put money. myself on the line, and the these girls open up to to try to accept my friends, yeah. and my friends don't say a fucking word. So 30 seconds of silence, I look back at the girls and I say, well, ladies, um, if you guys want to have a good time, you can come give me a shout. I apologize for my fucking loser friends. What I'm trying to say is, again, not every time you go to a bar you have to pick up chicks. Typically, that's what you go there for, but sometimes you don't. Another time, it was the same idea. I happened to be whatever, just kind of on fire, right? You guys have seen it, where I'm Hans or something, just clicking, whatever. So this was the first night that I introduced my surfer guy. You know me, I do accents or... Yeah, you do that right? fucking uh, Russian or well, whatever I, the fuck I, I got well, German... German, I, oh yeah, Hans. Hans. Yeah, Hans is And the then fucking... Guy. The other guy does the same thing. You shut your goddamn mouth. Don't talk about bacon. <clears throat> All right? But this night, I went up to the bar. And again, there's the same idea. We're pre-drinking at my house. And... Not the mm-hmm. same not the same three guys, but it was yeah. three guys. So it was a yeah. foursome, pretty much. And I wow. told... Yeah, we touch oh, each yeah. other's dicks. Uh, no, we we were trying to, but it was in public, so yeah. we didn't want to get arrested. But before we left four my house, four guys were touching his dick. Yeah, four guys were touching my dick in public yeah. at the bar. That's correct. Very <laughs> 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 I was the only one. That, yeah, yeah, <laughs> what kind of bar was it? Uh, it was a Irish pub. Uh, oh, I, I was like something the Irish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was the only one that had a pint. It was Guinness, of course. But no. So this one night I, again. I was the most energetic, goofy, yeah. whatever. And at my house, when we were pre-drinking, and we pre-drank a lot at my house, I said, fuck it, I'm staying in character all night. I don't care what. I am not breaking character at all. So I went as a surfer. Mm-hmm. So we go to this Irish pub. Did you wear a wig with dreadlocks? No, I didn't. Oh. I, I didn't. I didn't have any garb like. <laughs> you know, didn't have like the the long no, shorts I, with I the with the green fucking or no, green or yellow I fucking. Uh, no, I know what, sure? what I should have had is like fucking short Tommy Hilfiger swim shorts yeah. and a fucking wife beater, but I <laughs> I didn't have any clothes to go along with it. I just had my voice and my character. Mm-hmm. And my character was surfer dude. Yeah. So all night, so I started at the house. And even my buddy was like, Shane, shut the fuck up. You're so annoying. I'm like, bro, dude, yeah. this is going on the whole time, man. Totally rocking out, bro. But I was a surfer from Switzerland. We'll figure that one out. Switzerland's fucking landlocked. <laughs> it's the middle of the Alps. There's no water. How are, <laughs> right? How are you a surfer in fucking Switzerland? It makes no sense. Same thing. Yeah. Whole shit ton of people believe me. One like this one chick that would, shows you how much people how actually gullible like, they are. Right. Ha, well, not just gullible, but like how much they like know about the geography. They're, yeah, they know nothing, right? Yeah, right. yeah they're ignorant. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So one chick. This one. It's hot, not ignorance. It's more like no, no, um, no, no, no. Ignorant doesn't mean like it's, it's, ignorance, no. I know what you mean, but it's more like uh, uneducated. That's what but ignorance like ignorance is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's another word for it. I can't remember. But yeah. Go ahead. Whatever. Um, so there's one really hot chick I want to pick up. Negligent. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. This one really hot chick I went to pick up, uh, she called me on it. She's like, you're fucking bullshit. There's no fucking way you surf in Switzerland. So <laughs> <laughs> she was the only one that actually caught me. Yeah. It's like, she's the one I wanted to bang. It yeah. didn't matter. I had banged somebody else. But I'm not kidding. You're like, so many people like fell into the fucking, the guys. Of, I had other people challenge me. How do you surf in Switzerland, man? You can't do that. I said, bro, dude, you don't even fucking believe it, bro. Like, first of all, man, my parents own, like, this sick little fucking little tiny cottage, dude. It's, like, way up in the hills, bro. But, like, we got snow in the winter, which means I can, like, snowboard and, like, practice, dude. But, like, come, like, fucking March, when all that snow melts, dude, it's, like, waves down the mountain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my fucking, yeah. like, explanation. Was, you can't surf in Switzerland. Oh, yes, you can, dude. From, like, March to April, bro. Like waterfalls and waves. You just fucking wait for the snow to melt. <laughs> just stand what, there so and you, fucking. So, so you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like yeah. I, I totally just fucking made it up. Yeah. They've got a mountain full of snow. The snow melts. Now there's water going down the mountain. Yeah. So that's my surf waves, right? Yeah. So many people are fucking tools. They'll believe anything they want if yeah. they want to hear it. Yeah. You know, I was a surfer again. This is the from Switzerland. <laughs> from Switzerland. 
from Switzerland. Boss surfer from Switzerland, a landlocked country. Before, yeah, right, okay. With right? mountain ranges everywhere, but we surf <laughs> They <laughs> are, they are like pretty much at the apex of the Alps. Yeah. Which means, yeah. Mountains! It should be the same as being a fucking surfer from Alberta. They don't even have lakes. No. Uh, they got waterfalls. Yeah. But yeah, it was awesome. It was so fucking funny. You know, before I went to the bar, like I started going to the bar when I was 20, 21. I would sit in front of the computer for eight to ten hours at a time. No, no, not masturbate. Come on, guys. <laughs> um, but write. Write screenplays, short stories, right? I was completely closed off. I didn't really talk to many people. Yep. My sister was a very outspoken kind of person. She invited me out a few times, and then I got to know people. I started going to uh, the station pub on a regular basis, like almost every weekend. Done. And so, the very the first time, I had a one night stand at the station pub. That was the first time ever, or uh, the first time ever, first time ever getting um, a one night stand. Yeah, one night stand, right? And you were I, how old again? I was maybe 20, 20, 21. <laughs> but I was standing in line to wait for way. a beer, and this chick, she's you know like she she was attractive, but she was a little hefty. I wasn't going to fucking complain. I mean, whatever. That's Gary style. Yeah. <laughs> she reaches over my shoulder and pours ice down my shirt. And I look over. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that was fucking cold. She's like, well, at least I broke the ice. So she picked you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. She picked you up. Yeah, she that's, picked that's me up. That's a great line. Man. Yeah. Hey, holy fuck, dude. And I'm then I was talking that. to her all fucking night. I'm, we, I'm we, that. we walked around... Um, we walked around Mill Lake for like 20 minutes, hanging out with her friends. Then she, we went back to a house party. And then she went back to my house, and I finally fucked her, right? This was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, this is the first time I was able to stuck a finger up somebody's ass. Or a oh. thumb. And So, it's your first ever one-night stand. Yeah. And also, your first time ever yeah. playing with the booty hole. Yeah. Just... Just hammering that happened two oh, weekends wow. in a row because the next weekend over, I picked her up again. I started talking to her, I picked her up again, and I did the exact same thing. Played with her booty on fucking? Yeah. Okay. Right? And then, then both times, she's like, you know, just to be honest, I've never had that happen to me before. The second time around, I was like, didn't I do that to you last weekend? <laughs> yeah, you're maybe both too drunk around. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I love it when they say that, though. I've never had that done to me before. Yeah. Fucking sweet. Clearly <laughs> not. No, but, I got, it, the, but, you know, the good thing about that statement, though, yeah. is even if it was a one-night stand, and even yeah. if you never saw her again for the rest of your life, yeah. or, okay, after the second time, yeah. if she says, that's never been done to me before, mm-hmm. you and your weirdness yeah. are, like, fucking <laughs> My weirdness. Like, burned into yeah. her fucking brain yeah. forever. She'll be 88 on her deathbed with fucking a whole shit ton of cancer. Yeah. Oh, I remember the one time... Uh, I remember a I year. Remember that Gary guy, he's the first guy to put his thumb in my She ass. probably won't remember my name, but she'll remember what I did. Right, but I remember, yeah. I remember about a you year. You made an impact, sir. You yeah. made an impact. I remember about a year or two after that, she, we started talking. We found each other on Facebook, and she's, she wanted a real, like she was looking for a boyfriend, right? And I was like, oh, you know, we could go for dinner and stuff like that, see where we go, right? It never happened. Just fill it. Right? Just fill it. Just about, fill it. Two years after that, I was living with this guy. I asked her, like, hey, like I said, what are you doing? I want to fuck you. Yeah. And she was like, well, I have a boyfriend. I don't really want to fuck you, but I have somebody who might. So I went to the, we went to Cheers. I invited you, but you didn't want to go. We were living together at the time. Typical. You were, you were always on the couch. You were always watching TV. Like, you would barely drink, and when you did, it was always just don't, in front of the he TV. Was depressed. Don't beat him too much. He wasn't depressed. I don't know what it was. I but just didn't want to go out. Yeah. Well, you didn't really, we didn't really make a lot of money. You spent all your money on that like fucking alien I alien did. computer. I did. Right? And all the video games. Yeah, and you were, so how's that ho- out? You, he was hopped up on fucking YouTube all the time. Like, he still is. Can you get hopped up on YouTube? No, I mean, like, he was always watching it. I'd like to try He was so. constantly watching it. He wasn't even allowed. Yes, it was. This was 2008, 2009. So we were living together in 2008. But yeah, so there was that. But there, okay, so the woman that she introduced me to, I don't know if I want to use this for this podcast, but this is the, this is the handicap date. I want to save this for next time. Clayton, but you've talked the less. Yeah, like zero. 
Yeah, you've had well, like one story that I contributed oh, to. By the way, check this out. He's all mad now. That's why. Oh, oh you mad? mad? You He's mad? All concerned and. Don't be concerned. Okay, I'll give you one minute. To play you need to fucking one make minute it, to play defense. You need to make a decision and That's, need to just stick to it and get a fucking haircut. I'm you did kidding. not get a haircut. I need a haircut too, so. Oh. You need a fucking haircut. You told me you were gonna get one yesterday, and it does not look like you got one. You guys ever shaved your balls? I did the other day. I've shaved my balls many I didn't times. Sh- I didn't shave it, shave it, but I trimmed it. Trim? No, I've shaved. I shaved it once. I'll never do it again because it fucking itches. It itches yeah. like you have crabs. Depends. It itches not like I have crabs, but it itches like, like you have crabs. So, so your crabbiness feels like it's on my balls, if that makes any sense. It does. I have that effect on people. <laughs> Except I, I didn't give them actual crabs. I just gave them scabies. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, not that, as bad, but it's still no, not good. No, scabies is not as bad, obviously. Come on. I had scabies once. So have I. I've had it twice. My if, fucking... My whole son body. gave it to my ex, and my ex gave it to me. If you had to pick, what would you What would you choose? I don't know. I've never had crabs, so well, I don't well, know well, I, I, I would take scabies. I would well, think. scabies can be all over your body. Right? It, it was for me. between your fingers. No, it was. It was for me. It was like a rash everywhere. Fucking... Crabs can only be on your balls. Oh right? fuck! Can I tell you the story or about how my? Can I tell you the story about how my nuts were literally the size of a softball? I was 20 years old. Yeah. Oh shit! My son was a year and a half, and I was married or just getting married or something like that. <laughs> and Your I, kid's almost 17 then. He's turning 16. Oh, yeah. But when I when I was 20, I already had him. I was 19 when I had him. You're f- 35, right? Yeah. Yeah, but when I was 20, I bought my first house. Not rented, not yeah. leased. I bought it. <coughs> now it all went to shit since then. Yeah. Anyways, um, I once uh, so after a year or two of owning it, my ex and I, like my ex-wife now, yeah. um, her and I split. And uh, I mean, it was kind of a joke at first, but then it turned into re- like reality. Is like I would lie on the front steps of my porch. Only f- in s- spring, summer, and fall. Not yeah. winter, it's too cold. But I would just lie there and fall asleep. And just, I wouldn't pull my pants all the way down. Like, I would lie, I would fall asleep on my stairs. Yeah. Face down. Like, four stairs going up towards my front door. And I would just lie there. And I would put my pants down on my ass. The backside. Ever so slightly. Not all the way. Yeah. But, like, a little tease. And then I would just put a, a, a tip jar. So... Whoever walked by, you know, if they right. fucked me in the ass, it's up to them. Yeah. It's more like a courtesy, you know. They could leave me $2, or they could leave me 10 But, yeah, I just lied there all night, hammered, and people would come fuck me in the ass or spit on me, or that was my side job. Yeah, I did flooring for a living. I was in construction. And then at nighttime, I, you know, the dog would be asleep, my kid would be asleep, and I'd go, go to the front yard. Sometimes it was really bad. I'd get really drunk and I'd lie yeah. on the grass. Fuck. You were talking about fucking homemade porn videos. Yeah. This is my favorite. Oh, my God. All right, so yeah. I'm 21. Right. I go to the oh, bar. 21, to the and bar. And it's Wednesday night at the Mansion House. Which is, which is, there? What, are nope. you doing, what are you doing at a bar on a Wednesday night when you could be working? I was 21. <laughs> Figured it out. Sure enough. <laughs> That's right. That's and <laughs> the, mansion house, the Mansion House is kind of, it's actually a historic building in St. Catharines. The actual building is like 90, 90, 100 years old, whatever it is. Uh, but every Wednesday, they have $2 pints. So it's those small plastic cups, right? Yeah. It's two bucks, and it's swill. Like. Swill? You mean I, swell? No, swill. Like, they just. The wh- fuck is swill? Like, fucking garbage. Like, shit. Oh, okay. Like, bleh. You know what I mean? Like, it's the worst beer ever. But it's two bucks. You don't give a shit. You're getting hammered. So we go there. I go there with two buddies of mine. And they ended up fucking off a little bit early. And as I'm there, again, I was just looking good. Had a nice shirt. Hair was looking good. Pick up this fucking smoking hot chick. Portuguese descent, right? So, you know, Spanish, Portuguese, Brazilian, same idea. Like, mulatto, Mm -hmm. fucking fuck. Oh, dude, fuck. She's not... She didn't have to go in the sun. She just had that permanent I'm telling you, like, fucking mint. Like... 
eight and a half to nine out of ten. Oh fuck. Okay, That's like me. just fucking dynamite. Yeah. So I pick her up and get in my car, we leave the bar. We're, she's like, Yeah, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna go make out and maybe fuck whatever. Okay, cool. But being me, it's Shane. I'm a fucking talker, and she's a talker, so we ended up just talking the whole night. But she says, okay, dr- let's go uh, Let's go by my house. There's a parking lot right by my house. The parking lot right beside her house was right beside my fucking house. Mm. She lived in the parsonage, which is yeah. beside my place that I lived in, where I grew up. There was a church. Then there's a house attached to the church. Which you would typically assume was for the pastor. Uh-huh. But that's not how it worked. The church just rented it just to rent it. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, her parents rented it, and she lived there. This is fucking unreal. I just picked up, like, the hottest chick in my life, and she's my neighbor. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The next five months were just <laughs> lit. On fucking real. Right and, there, and here's the other thing. I'm a deviant, dirty... <laughs> nasty motherfucker like when it comes to sex in general and in a bubble Mm -hmm. I am not normal I know for a fact doesn't matter I'm not ashamed but I know for a fact I am not normal didn't you try to stick a finger in my butt that one time no I dude I put three (laughs) oh that's right you did put three (laughs) (laughs) this is back in January by the way no I I started with two and it didn't even touch a side so you said what are you doing yeah Come on, man. Well, one. he put three in once I asked to put all five in. He's just like, that's a little much. Do you have any more beer? I need more Tons. beer if we're going to have this conversation. In the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> yeah. So I pick up this chick at the uh, bar. We go to the parking lot. Yeah. We talk until 8 in the morning. Yeah. At 8.05, a good buddy of mine who's like 30 years older, he's just like a coworker or whatever, he picks me up to take me golfing. That was awesome. Her and I just started... Hey. Ba- you're not allowed to be on your phone either. Yeah, no, but I'm not, not talking to anybody. Hey, you don't you fucking... I'm Facebooking, fuck that's it. Like, yeah, you should casual be, Facebook. You have no hey. place. Okay. So anyway, right. so I start banging this I chick. I just start drinking again, water then. So this chick is fucking, like, I'm serious, like, off the charts hot. And I'm a dirty motherfucker. Like, I want to fucking pound your asshole. If I want to gag yeah. you. Fuck, like, all this bad shit that I saw in pornos when I was too young. So it distorted me. Yeah, yeah, well, I she's into that. it. She's into this stuff. Yeah. Like, all the kinky whatever, right? Her and I made a video. Now, un- unfortunately, the video, again, ended up being lost. But I know for a <laughs> fact this video was great because we made it, and then we watched it, and then fucked to it, and tried to make it worse, and then recorded another one, and it was... You, what do you mean you tried to make it worse? So, we recorded a video, and it was, like, me fucking her ass and deep-throating her and blah, blah, blah. And then okay. we, bo- we both watched it, like, three days later. So, mm-hmm. we obviously, we got horny as we're watching it. And then she said, do you want to do another one? I'm like, yeah, but you want to make it, like, rougher? She's like, yeah, fucking destroy me. Really? Oh, I murdered her. Just destroy oh, me. Oh, fuck. So, she was kind of like my girlfriend again. It was, like, six or seven months that we were together in total. Yeah. But, uh, so she came to watch me play soccer. I played soccer for 12 years. Just, like, beer league with my buddies. Yeah. But she came to watch the one game. And this one particular game... I. I, horrible. We lost three nothing. It was fucking shit. And I was like, like livid, yeah. fucking livid, at the game. We're driving back from the soccer field. N- normally we go to the pub, because they're our sponsor. So we go get pizza and pints and whatever. But I said, I told the guys, I said, fuck this shit, fuck this. I'm going home. On the ride home, I told her, I said, I am gonna like, I've been bad before. I'm gonna like destroy you, yeah. like super bad Pornhub <laughs> beauty. Hour, two hours, three hours, just fucking ass to mouth, fucking finger bl- like toys, all sorts of shit. It's one of the best memories I ever have. Like I, I have in my head. The good thing is, is I still remember what she looks like. The bad thing is, I don't know where she is. <laughs> but oh man, it's not funny. It's not a funny story. <laughs> But, but yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Imagine like a super smoking hot Brazilian chick, and she's like, pound my ass, and then hey, any other women that I've ever slept with, other than a white woman. So you've never had? I've never had Asian. A, black. I've never had Asian black. I've never had any Brazilian. I've never had native. I've never had. 
I've had like a half native woman. I dated for three months, but That's she didn't native. even I'm look not... like she was native. She was like half white, right? So well, she which was white? white? Which one is it? She <laughs> was white. So she's she was white. white, right? Right, yeah. but she was like she had native a native heritage, descendancy yeah. background, yeah. Oh, I, there's oh fuck, sorry. But no. yeah, like it was all just white women. I, I, you know, like I, fucking, I've tried. I've fucking gone on Pornhub, you porn or whatever. Tried to jerk off to black women, Asian women, Blacks Brazilian. Are beauty. But Brazilian is not so bad because it, it just well, they look hot. like a a tan version of a white person. <laughs> That's all they really look like. They just look like a tan version. So it's Taylor Swift with a tan. Pretty much. Fuck. But blacks are pretty good. I got a blowjob. From a black chick. Was that that black chick that was nope, here that one nope, day? No, no, nope. no. I got a blowjob. <laughs> I was 15. Yeah. She was 13. We met halfway. Yeah. I got a blowjob behind an... Which is a grocery store. Yeah. By the dumpster. Behind a grocery store. Why? That's so... Like, I don't fucking know somewhere. what I was doing. Why not so go somewhere classy by, like... Maybe by the recycling, at least. Why the well, dumpster? It, it was in between. Oh, okay. Right, so that's I had, not so bad. I had, I had, I had, yeah, okay, the, yeah, I had a little bit of class. Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was awesome. But when I ate her pussy, yeah. cool thing about black chicks, they have a big fucking lip. No, their pussies are still pink. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> same as everyone. Yeah. Their insides are all still the same. Pretty much. But black chicks get good head. From my experience, I've had three of them.